Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to game number two between TLO and Huck. And this is going to be the continuation of the MLG Day 3 series between these two epic players. And it is, once again, going to be a Zerg versus Protoss. What an awesome game. What an awesome display of Zerg prowess and swarm potential from our fan favorite player, the little one in the last game. If you guys haven't seen it yet, definitely go check it out. And uh, yeah, it was a really good game, but what the hell? Oh, TLO here is going to be going for a six pool. I was going to say, what is he doing with his larva? They were just kind of chilling there, not producing anything. And then I saw the drone pull off the mineral and become a spawning pool. And the little one here is going to be opening up this game with extreme aggression and what a peculiar map to choose to go for a six pool I mean you know six pool is a pretty I mean it's a good opening but honestly why on Lost Temple especially considering their, their spawn positions it is once again a four player map so you have to scout right away to find where your opponent is and TLO is not going to be happy to see that Huck has spawned in the most furthest position possible all the way up at the 12 o'clock and oh man TLO's six pool here might not work out as intended here comes the three larvae the three eggs mor morphing all into six zerglings and what is Huck doing oh my goodness Huck here is saving up his resources is he going for some kind of 15 nexus 14 nexus what the heck is he doing he still doesn't have a gateway he's at 15 supply his probe now just coming in sees the six zerglings on the way and oh my goodness huck now needs to throw up buildings immediately and he quickly throws down two gateways but there is an opening between these two gateways I i'm wondering why he put those buildings like that he's gonna have to pull probes off the line if he wants to hold off these six zerglings which are quickly swarming their way across the center of lost temple and oh no the little one here could do a lot of damage uh, looks like there's even going to be a drone in the party as well the six zerglings come right by the probes and huck does he realize that there's an opening between these two gateways oh my goodness the zerglings make their way through huck what is huck doing he makes a huge blunder with his position of his gateway units and now the pylon powering the gateways could possibly go down all the probes coming off the line here and Huck in a desperate situation keep in mind TLO has to kill as many probes as possible because Huck right now still has 15 over 7 harvesters it looks like he picks off several probes in that exchange and now the pylon uh, one of the pylons could go down looks like Huck wisely throwing up a second pylon and it looks like the harvester count currently 11 to 7 Huck here still in a world of trouble he is not mining any resources whatsoever and TLO is continuing to stream in the Zerglings looks like one Zealot makes it out and that Zealot will be able to secure and fasten the front door for now uh, but TLO uh, will and TLO will not be able to bust through Huck is going to need an additional Zealot to clean off the Zerglings and drones oh but it looks like the probes make a make a fight for their own stand for their own rights and kill off the two Zerglings and this last drone at 1 HP it looks like right now the harvester count 10 to 7. I think Huck will be able to hold the front door now. The little one's six pull attack not working out as intended. And now he's going to have to come up with some kind of a plan B. He needs a transition out of this. It looks like he's going to try to get a queen out. And he may have... Yeah, he's going to start to drone up. He's making two drones right now. And the little one now realizing that, man, I am behind. I need to make something happen. And he, ha he it looks like he's just going to transition into a standard game. But he is behind by quite a few harvesters at this point. And it's kind of interesting. Oh, looks like Huck is going to be pushing out with the Zealots. Oh, no. What is Huck doing? His Zealots are going to get surrounded. I, I don't know if you realized how many Zerglings are out there. But all the Zealots are going to go down. And oh, my goodness. One more gap for the Zerglings to make their way through. And now the probes once again in a, uh, in a battle, in a flurry to save their own lives. And it looks like the Zerglings are going to make their way into the probe line. Going to start to focus on the probes with the lowest HP first. Current harvester count dead even and tied. Uh, now it looks like the little one's starting to pull ahead. And that's all because of Huck's blunder by not leaving the Zealots at the at the choke point. Perhaps Huck decided, you know, I'm going to try to poke out a little bit and take a gander. But that really was his undoing. And now uh, it looks like it's a, it's a huge difference in favor of TLO. 15 over 11. Huck realizing that, pushing out with his two Zealots to try to make something happen. And TLO, meanwhile, still has a Zergling, primarily for scouting purposes, just chilling inside of Huck's base. Uh, it's a little interesting that... T 
Tilo decided to go for this six pool aggression on this game, considering, like I said, it is Lost Temple. It's a it's a it's a four player map, with long rush distances, especially since they spawned across from each other. But perhaps because Tilo won the first game, you know, you can you can kind of afford to go for a cheesy build the second game and try to throw your opponent off guard. And it looks like it's paid off thus far. Both players relatively even. Huck now coming in with his two zealots to try to make a counter attack, but with Tilo's queen and the zerglings here, I think these zealots are going to be dispatched of fairly easily. Yeah, this last zealot trying to get a position inside the choke. And it looks like, meanwhile, the zergling inside of Huck's base was taken care of as well. So, you know, it's almost as if the two players have reset positions completely and it's almost like the game is completely balanced at this point both player uh, the, the zerg player the little one going for this aggressive six pull really didn't have the economy but he was able to kill off several probes and so the matchup is essentially tied right now thanks in part to huck and his his poor placement of his gateways. I really feel like if he wanted to, he could have walled off with two gates and perhaps some probes just to help out. But instead, Huck allowed his uh, his front doors to be breached and he lost several probes as a result. Now, what is going to be the transition from this point forward? It looks like the little one is going to start to work down these golden rocks and perhaps he's going to have the same strategy like he did last game. Try to go for mass, mass expansions and uh, just try to out macro Huck. It seemed to work out quite well in Metalopolis in the last game, and perhaps it's going to work out again. I wonder what these overlords are doing. They're just kind of chilling there. But uh, the little one really needs to get on spreading his overlords. It looks like, yeah, he is going to be going for a gold expansion. And meanwhile, it looks like Huck here is going to be going for a timing attack with plus one weapon and warp gate on the way. Uh, look for Huck to throw down a third, potentially fourth gateway, or possibly go for a Twilight Council after the third gate, or, you know, Huck could even go for a Nexus. The, the possibilities for the Protoss player are quite endless. It looks like Tilo will be securing the, the, the natural expansion at the gold. And, uh, well, I guess you would call that the gold expansion. But the important thing for TLO right now is he has to scout. And indeed, he is using his Overlord to move right in range of the Protoss base. He sees the Forge ticking away. He sees the Cybernetics course. So he sees everything he needs to know right now. And he knows he has a, a, a window right now to attack. And he moved in with his Zerglings. But unfortunately for him, Huck with a wisely placed cannon to hold off the, the Speedlings. And it looks like TLO will just fall back to pick off the probes and continue to retain map control now the question is oh TLO going for a Banelings nest he sees that Huck is going for this timing pressure window with the forge and the cybernetic score so he's gonna try to bust through with a Banelings nest meanwhile oh he also forces the cancel on the Nexus in fact did he get did Huck get the cancel off yes he did Huck retaining his 400 minerals and it looks like right there Huck decided to go for the expansion. I guess he decided to switch up his game plan because TLO has now scouted the, the Forge and the Cybernetic score. So he really cannot attack and uh, because TLO will be prepared. So Huck instead tried to trick once again. You guys can see this is all about mind games. Once the scout saw the Forge and the Cyber Core, uh, Huck deciding to go for the Nexus instead. But in, uh, but in counter attack, TLO forced the cancel and now the ball's in Huck's court. What's he gonna do? He is once again gonna go for the Nexus rather than going for uh, an all-out four gate pressure. And it looks like his two stalkers here left in the open, gonna get picked off by the Speedlings. Very nice maneuver right there from TLO. Uh, 